So Stuart, uh, an eventful game, uh, late drama this afternoon, uh, your thoughts on the game? Uh, entertaining game, no doubt about that. I would have, suppose the fans, of, both sets of fans, will be relatively happy with the the result. Uh, from our perspective, we're obviously disappointed to lose a goal that late in the game. Uh, but I thought a draw was about right. I thought they, they put us under a hell of a pressure, uh, and we didn't defend very well right at the end there, uh, and we lose a late goal. But that's football. Last week we got really lucky. Last week and this week you could maybe see you're wee bit unlucky because you lose such a late goal. But I thought Andy's team certainly earned. Uh, the point that's no doubt about that. Yeah. Similar to last week, we, we come out of the traps really well. We, we scored a, a, a good early goal, I think, sort of uh, pounced on a, a wee mistake by them, but mm -hmm. uh, the cross and the finish was good. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's a, it's a cracking goal to start with. We, to, we spoke about that during the week as well. Um, and it's a wee bit like deja vu, then we just stop, and then uh, I thought Al were dominant for the next 30. 30, 35 minutes, in the last five minutes of the, the end of the first half, I thought we'd come back in the game again and got a bit of good possession down the sides. Um, but we changed it around a wee bit in the second half. And we've got a reaction. Uh, we scored a good goal down the side, and it's a great header from Kane because it's slightly behind him. Uh, and you're just hoping, can you go and maybe get the, the next one? Uh, unfortunately, Kane's through. Um, he tries similar to what he did last week, but uh, but he's doing great. He's getting goals now for us, which is which is a massive thing for us. Uh, but I thought there some other great performances within that as well. Could be carried in a couple of injuries, but that's what you get your squad for. But ultimately, we'll, we'll dust ourselves down. We'll get ready for, for the long trip down to Annan. Um, still not lost here, so that's a, that's a good sign. Uh, and you can see why Allah's not lost any games. Uh, they've got great movement in the middle part. They're strong up top and they're strong defensively. So, so uh, all in all, we'll, we'll, we'll take our point and we'll move on, Brian. Yeah. I mean, as you say, it, obviously games do kind of hinge on, on those kind of mm -hmm. chances and, and at 2-1, Kane has that, that opportunity and he's, he's, he's a different player at the moment, having scored goals full of confidence. And, but obviously the game just kind of seems to not hinge on that, but you, you end up looking back on those opportunities when you, when you concede so late. Yeah. Oh, when the game's that tight and, and you're one-on-one you're -on -one with a goalie, you're hoping that he can just slot it or, or blast it past him. He's trying to dink him uh, and it's... On his weaker side, so uh, he scored a super goal last week, and he scored another good goal today. So we're not going to be uh, here criticising Kane because he's he's putting the ball in the net. But you're right when you're playing against good teams like Aloha, uh, you've got to try and take every really good chance you get. And we didn't this afternoon, uh, but then credit to Andy and Aloha. I thought they they come back in the game even at two one, never gave up, um, and we were we were hanging on a bit. There's no doubt about that. Just a, a word for the the man of the match it was uh, Blair McKenzie. Thought he had a, another. He's very well, uh, considering he's playing against one of the best strikers in the league, and and he, it was a it was a tough lesson for him at times this afternoon for him and Craig. Uh, so done very well. I thought Terry Masson was outstanding uh, again in the whole game. Uh, his energy, the ground he covers, the tackles, the break he breaks the play up uh, was very good as well. But yeah, Blair's uh, he took a few weeks to get in the team, but. You can see from the second half last week, especially, and, and then he's carried on his forum this week. So we're hoping he's going to have a, a successful uh, loan spell with us, like guys have, have done in previous seasons. So uh, I mean, you're left foot and six foot five, six foot five, uh, you've got a chance. And he's aggressive enough and quick enough. So uh, I'd like the way he's progressing. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. And as you touched on earlier, looking ahead to next week, Annan mm. finishes the, the first quarter already. Yeah, yeah, um, thick and fast. Eh? You just seem as the season just started, feels the other week. But yeah, uh, again, never easy going to Annan. We've known that over the years, uh, especially when well, Peter was the manager, obviously. Obviously, it's changed hands and Willie's in there now, but, but the, it'll, not be diff it'll not be easy. We know that. We know what it's like going down there and how hard you've got to work to get Sun out of the game and, and next week will be no different. Yeah. And given that there's one game to go in the quarter, um, you're you happy with how the quarter's gone? I think you've got to be. Uh, ultimately, there's times where you maybe could have picked up other points, but there's times where we've maybe been a bit fortunate, so they kind of even themselves out. Uh, we'll see where we are at the end of, at the end of next Saturday night uh, within the league. Uh, obviously, another game will come tonight. Uh, but uh, as I say, we'll, we'll certainly myself and Andy will probably go, you know, go and mull over at the weekend. But when you wake up uh, tomorrow morning at points, it's not the worst result against a right good side. Perfect. Thanks. Cheers.